Hey guys, Heather at Divine Guidance Tarot, back at you with another pick a deck. So this time it's a third party situation reading. What's going on in their relationship and are they going to leave it? Um, so I have four piles. I'll show you the piles. One, two, three, and four. I'm, st I'm still trying to figure out a setup at my parents' house where I can do my readings. So um, bear with me on that. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And we'll start with pile one. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, don't listen. Find a YouTube reader that can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below. Okay, so I'm going to put it like that so you guys can see. Hopefully you'll be able to see the cards. So I, have, I drew messages from your person that I'm going to put up here. Okay, out of the way. We'll do those at the end and see what they have to say to you. Okay, and then... So we have Medea or Deception. White Buffalo Calf Woman. The Four of Spears or the Four of Wands, so Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The Eight of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Then we have Diana, Queen of the Wilderness. We have the King of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leader, Sagittarius. The Moon, more Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And then we have the Hierophant, so Virgo, Taurus Energy coming through. And then the Chariot, more Cancer Energy. So what's going on in their relationship in this third party? Um, let's see. Uh, I had to get a clarifying deck. Okay, so let's see. What is going on in this relationship, in their relationship? And will they get out of it? And so I feel like... Um, so I feel like one of the people in the relationship is more dominant than the other, okay? I feel as though one of the people in the relationship, I'm feeling more, it's, it's, a, it's more of the, the female, okay? I feel like the female is more dominant in this relationship. Come here, Chloe. This is the last time you guys are going to see Chloe for a little bit. She's going to be fostered. She's going to a new foster home at four. And I'll get her when I come back from New York and have my own apartment and have my shit together. But yeah, say bye, Chloe. Say I love you. Say I love you all. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, I definitely feel as though the female is definitely in more of a masculine energy, okay? Or if it's a gay couple, then one of them is more more dominant than the other but i'm definitely feeling that that your person your person is constantly belittled but in this relationship okay your person's constantly belittled in this relationship they're constantly putting them down they're constantly giving them tower moments but i feel as though the sex is really good and so that's kind of how they draw them back in by using sex so I feel like this relationship is very, um, is, is very uh, sexual, very sex-based, okay? Um, I'm not seeing a lot of emotions except for the moon, and that to me is usually confusion. So I feel as though there's a lot of confusion in the relationship, a lot of deception going on. Um, I definitely feel as though your person is being controlled through sex by their partner. Let's see if we can get any more information. Um, I feel like the person they're with might cheat on them frequently. 
okay, or flirt with other people in front of them. Your person's person definitely likes drama and definitely likes to keep things unstable so that your person can't get their footing out from under them. They're constantly off balance. They don't know if they're going to get witchy witch or they're going to get a loving, kind, beautiful person, right? I feel like this is you though, Diana. I feel so you guys are free spirits, okay? You kind of ebb and flow with the tides. Okay, I don't feel like you're deceptive at all. I feel like you're the complete opposite of the person that they're with. So let's see, are they going to leave? Are they going to leave the situation? Are they going to leave the situation? We have the Ace of Swords. So right away I'm going to say yes, they are. Why? Why are they going to leave the situation? Queen of Pentacles, for you. For you. Some of you guys might like to wear jewelry, like uh, chokers. Okay, but you have the key to this person's heart. You've opened up the gate to this person's heart. Okay, by carrying the Diana energy, the fierce, free-flowing huntress. Okay, and it's very attractive to them. And so, yes, I do feel as though they will leave the situation. Okay, well, let's see if we can get some timing. When might they leave this relationship? So we have the Ten of Swords. Let me get another card. We have the Ten of Swords. I'll grab another card. And the Four of Pentacles. I'm feeling late spring. Late spring. I'm feeling... Uh, April and May, maybe even June. April, May, or June. So, uh, let's get their messages to you. But yeah, this person just feels really unloved. Okay, this person feels confused, unloved, unworthy. Just being used for sex, for manipulated, and they don't like it. But let's see what their their words have to say to you. What do they have, what is they what does their higher selves have to say to you? See, I see the worst in me. See, this person has low self-esteem and you are worthy. I feel like this is you coming through. I feel like you give this person hope that they are worthy enough to be loved. And they see that and they feel that. And yes, they will be leaving the situation as soon as they get the courage to tell this mean, narcissistic person to go fuck off. To go kick rocks. So. All right. I hope that resonated. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below. And we'll get you set up. Love and light. All right. If you chose deck two, <clears throat> as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate... <clears throat> Please, please don't listen. Find a YouTuber that can help you. I have your messages. I'm going to put them up here. And then we're going to do our readings. So we have Fortuna or Fate. It's a beautiful card. Parvati or Devotion. The Six of Swords, Air Energy coming through, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Magician, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Energy. My Bago, the Warrior Saint. I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. The King of Cups, more water energy. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. The Fool, more Aquarius, Sagittarius, Energy. The Ten of Cups, water energy. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And then the Two of Swords, air energy coming through. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So what's going on in their relationship? <sighs> so 
So I feel like this person is very black and white. Okay, this person is very black and white. There's good and there's bad. There's no in between. You're either a good person or you're a bad person. There's no middle ground. They don't like to live in the gray. They like things to be black and white. Um, I feel like, honestly, I feel like they feel stuck. They feel stuck in this relationship. Um, I feel like whoever they're with, they need them to have others see them as happy. So I feel like this is a fake relationship, okay? I feel like not a fake relationship, but this is like a relationship where they're in it for what it can give to both of them mutually, okay? How other people see them, how their friends see them, how their family sees them. I feel like they pretend to be happy, okay? They might post lots of pictures on social media together, go on trips, have children. They might even have kids. Um, they might be married, but it's a very comfortable, they're comfortable in this relationship. They're very comfortable with it because people see them as stable when they're in this relationship. They see them as stable. They see them as happy. They see them, they see other, they think that other people see them the way that they want to be seen. Okay. But I don't think you see them that way. Honestly, I feel as though you see right through them with the, the devotion right here, Parvati with the devotion. I feel like you see right through their masks, both of their masks. I think you see that they are very unhappy and you feel that and you feel this like pull towards this person, like you want to save them from this relationship, but you can't, okay? You cannot interfere. You cannot interfere in their relationship, okay? Because that karma is going to come back to you. They need to fulfill their soul contract, okay? They need to fulfill the soul contract that they have with this person, whether that's a child, whether that's to be married and learn whatever karmic lessons they need to learn. They need to go through this and it is fated for them to do so. So that they combine, they can combine the two halves of themselves. They need to find peace within themselves, okay? And they're not going to do that if you interfere. You cannot interfere in this. As much as you want to save this person or be with this person or love this person, you cannot interfere in their relationship. You can simply show love and support, and that's it, okay? Because they need to learn whatever they need to learn in this relationship if they're ever going to be in a healthy relationship with you. So let's see if they will leave. Will they leave this relationship? Will they leave this relationship? So we have the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords with the Four of Swords and the Page of Swords. So super, 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 a lot of air energy coming through. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy air energy. I'm hearing like Aquarius moon, possibly. They might have a, an Aquarius moon or an Aquarius Venus. Um, no, I don't think they're going to leave this relationship because they don't feel worthy uh, they don't, well, it's not that they don't feel worthy. I don't want to say that. It's, it's they feel accepted. This person just wants to be accepted. And they feel that by being in this relationship, in this fake happiness, that they will be accepted. So no, I don't think that they're going to leave this relationship. I do think that you see that they are unhappy and you want to be with them and make them happy, but you can't make another person happy. People have to make themselves happy. Okay, you can't change people and you shouldn't try and change people. You should simply love and respect people for the way that they are. Do you know what I'm saying? And not interfere in their karmic situations and their lessons. Okay. So let's get their messages from their higher selves to you. I can't leave. 
and you see me as I am. So like I said, you see that they're unhappy and you see that they can't leave or don't or aren't going to and they don't feel like they can. They don't feel like they have any options available to them. Because like I said, this person is someone that very much fears judgments of others. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. Have a night. All right. Uh, where are you? Any messages? Right up here. So we have Arnamentia, Integrity. Freya, Radical Acceptance. The Strength card, so Leo energy coming through. Also the number eight. The Five of Swords, Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Ariande, Ariande, Ariane, something like that. Mistress of the Labyrinth. My soul knows the way and the only way is out. The King of Swords, more air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Queen of Swords. I swear to God, I just steal them, guys. Holy shit. Holy shit, you have a king and a queen there. Wow. Okay, the Five of Swords again. Got the Five of Swords twice, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and then the Princess of Wands. So what is this, what is their relationship like? Okay, so their relationship is really all about mental mind games. Okay, these people, th this relationship is all about mind games, one-upping one another. Um, you know, I feel as though uh, they're both very strong thinkers. Okay, they're both very strong thinkers. But it's like a battle all the time. Okay, it's constantly, it's like, it, it's very, they're both very egotistical, narcissistic people. Okay, they're very vengeful, nasty, vindictive people. Okay. I do feel as though I feel like this is their energy over here. Like their energy is over here. Okay, it's like, and then your energy, you're coming through in the reading. Okay, I feel as though you accept this person, okay, as they are. You love this person as they are. You don't care that they're egotistical. You don't care that they're narcissistic. You don't care that they're cold. Okay, you, you know that you love this person. And I feel as though you have the integrity to know that, yes, they are your soulmate, and yes, you accept them, but that you're, and you're living from your heart. But I don't feel as though you're going to interfere in their relationship. I feel like you are a very spiritual pile. Okay, I feel like you're, you're very good at figuring out uh, why things happen the way that they do. You're very good at connecting the dots, okay? And um, so are these two. However, I feel like they waste their um, their uh, they waste it. They're not they're th these this couple is not integ it has no integrity. Okay, there's cheating, there's fighting, there's lying, there's nastiness, there's ugliness, there's back and forth. It's just a disgusting cycle. It's like a nonstop cycle. Break up, get back together. Break up, get back together. You cheated on me. No, you cheated on me. No, you cheated on me. No, you cheated on me. Break up, get back together. Break up, get back together. It's just a cycle. It's like a labyrinth, okay, that they're trying to get through. Your person is trying to get through this labyrinth. They're trying to figure out, okay, so if I do this, she does this. Okay, she does this, I'm going to react like this. But I feel as though they're coming into more of an energy where they're thinking more before they act. Okay, I feel as though they're, get, they're, they're coming into a little bit more of a softer energy. More of an energy of, hey, why am I putting up with this shit? I don't have to put up with this shit. Like I said, I do feel as though it's, it's kind of switched. 
Okay, I feel like if it's a if it is a heterosexual relationship, I feel as though the roles are reversed, okay? The the this queen of swords hides. I feel as though uh this the female is the masculine energy and comes at the the man. You know what I'm saying one of the energies comes at the other and the other one hides. They put up a shield. They put up, they turn cold. They block. This person's a blocker. However, I always do feel as though they come back with an, I'm sorry, please forgive me. You know what I'm saying? And they do it to each other. And it's just a mind game, an egotistical, narcissistic mind game. But I feel as though you see, you see these people for exactly who they are. And you don't want anything to do with them. I feel as though you've you've detached from this person. I feel like you still have feelings and emotions and love for this person, but I feel as though you've taken yourself out of the situation. You've removed yourself from this situation in order to have integrity in yourself. So will they leave? Let's see. Will they leave? So you have the hanged man with the judgment card. The high priestess and the five of wands. So Capricorn energy coming through, heavy, and then fire, Aries, Leader, Sagittarius, and then Taurus, Virgo, Cancer with the high priestess. Um... Yes, I do think that they will. I think they're going to stay stuck for a little bit longer. Okay, I feel as though they're going to they're going to keep doing this for just a little bit longer. Okay, but I do feel as though with the judgment card here, they're going to they're going to they're going to go the opposite way. They're going to follow what they feel is right and they feel like this person is not right for them. They're going to find their way out of the labyrinth. I find it interesting. It's like this could be a labyrinth, right? This this thing, this door could be a labyrinth, right? And all of these people are coming out of the labyrinth, but she's just starting it. So I feel as though, um, cause she's the mistress of the, she, so I feel like this person does know in their soul that there is a way out of this. Okay. But I don't feel like this person feels, I feel like this person feels like you are a soulmate or connected to them somehow but i feel as though you guys have have like like i said you, you've cut yourself off from this situation i feel like you don't even see this person anymore you don't talk to this person you might have blocked them on everything you've removed yourself completely from this situation and they felt it they felt it and they feel your sadness too because i feel as though you were sad about it but that you intuitively knew that it had to be done and so yes i do think that they're going to follow you i feel like this is you deciding to go on your own journey. And I do feel like they will turn around and follow. Because if you can see, it's like he's barely out the door and their cloaks are the same. All of these cloaks are different. They're all different colors, but these two cloaks are the same. So when this person turns around and sees your light and sees you getting through life, which is a labyrinth, which is confusing, getting through it, by yourself, they're going to turn around and want to do the same. So let's see if I can maybe get some timing and then we'll get your messages from your person. Let's get some timing. Possibly. Hmm. That was quick. Too many though. So we have the moon. Okay. So it's a secret. It's a mystery. It's an, it's unknown because they're not the king of pentacles. Okay, um, they're not the king of pentacles. So more air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Cancer with the moon there. Um, they will. They will eventually decide to turn around. And I feel it's going to be maybe... Mm, tower. They're going to find something out. Okay, it's a secret. 
I don't, I'm not going to be able to give you the timing because it's going to happen differently for everybody because there's some secret that's going to be exposed about their relationship that's going to cause it to crumble. It's going to cause it to crumble because it's fated to crumble. Ooh, what's the secret? It'll be different for everybody, but I'm kind of nosy. What's the collective secret? <laughs> what's the collective secret? <laughs> The world and the six of cups. What's the collective secret? Okay, one more. The Empress. The collective secret is they're going to leave this person for you. They're going to find their way back to you. And there's the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. More air energy. Taurus, Virgo with the Empress. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Cups. And any sign with the world. They're coming back. Yes. Okay. And it's a secret as to when. Because the secret has... Everybody carries secrets. Everybody has skeletons. And they'll all be revealed in divine timing. So I can't really give you a timing. But yes, this person is coming back. After a huge tower moment that they're going to receive from their partner. Ouch. Let's get their messages for you. I dream of us and I can't move on. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> they're they're going to do it. They are. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below and we'll get you set up. Love and light. All right, if it shows pile four, I'm going to put your messages up here. Up first, we have Isis or Resurrection, Spider Women, Co Creation. <coughs> <coughs> There, I took off my headphones when I did that. Sorry. The sun. So Leo energy coming through. The page of spears. Fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Edahana, the high priestess. I am one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love. The page of wands. More fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The two of pentacles. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Princess of Pentacles, Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, and the Nine of Pentacles, more Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So lots of Earth and lots of fire in this. This is so funny, you guys. This is so funny. I'm not getting anything about another person. I'm not getting anything about another person. If they are with somebody else, then they're not truly with that person. <coughs> I feel as though um, this person enjoys sex with multiple people. They might like orgies or threesomes. This is a kinky fucker. And they prefer being single. So I'm not feeling third party here. I don't know why it popped up in a third party reading other than the fact that they're sleeping with multiple people. This person is either in re multiple relationships or into group sex, into like threesomes, orgies, free. This is like a, they might be a stoner, have codependency issues. Um, they're just not. And uh, they're, they're, they're like a, fuck it, I'm just going to do it anyway sort of a person. I don't, I'm not, I'm not feeling, very, I'm not feeling any loyalty here to anyone but themselves, okay? This is someone that wants to work on themselves and their own life and have fun in the process. They're not looking for a relationship. They're not looking 
for, they're not looking for that. And I feel as though <clears throat> they, uh, they like to play with people. They like to play with people. Um, I feel as though they are very attracted to you. Okay, because with the sun and the nine of pentacles here, those are both more feminine sort of an energy to me. Because <clears throat> even though it is a man on the card, he has really flowy hair. So I feel as though they are definitely have a sexual attraction to you with the rabbit here and the knight of wands or the page of wands. I'm sorry. They definitely have a sexual attraction to you. And if you have had sex with this person before, they want to have sex with you again because they're addicted to your energy. I can feel like your energy, like I said, your energy is beautiful. Like you have this beautiful, like you're single too, I feel, but you do it in a beautiful way. It's like where you're by yourself and yes, you might date, but I don't feel as though you sleep around. I don't feel like you party a lot. I feel as though you're just trying to find someone that matches you and you haven't found anyone. And this person's very attracted to your light. Your, your, if you can see, I feel as though a lot of you guys are enlightened. A lot of you guys are really spiritual. Um, you might be light workers. Okay, energy healers. God, I can't even with my nails. I can't pick anything up off the fucking floor. Okay, because if you can see, it's like you guys have the wisdom and the knowledge. Okay. It Because this is when she's bringing her husband back to life. Okay, so I feel as though they, if you have had sex with this person, they really enjoyed it and they want to do it again. If you have not, their fantasies of you are like, blow me away because I feel as though you guys, like I said, you have a very gorgeous energy. Even if you don't feel like you're traditionally pretty, like you're not like supermodel gorgeous, maybe you don't like your nose or you don't like your eyes or you think you're too fat or whatever. Um, this person definitely sees you as beautiful and someone that they would like to have sex with because they like your energy. It's just your energy. Your is what I'm getting. So let's see. Are they going to stop fucking around and come back? Or are they going to continue? Let's see what we can get. We have the Eight of Swords. So more air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Seven of Cups. Water energy. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Judgment. Capricorn energy coming through. And the moon. The last deck got the moon and judgment together as well from this deck. Um, so maybe go look at that if this one is not resonating for you. <clears throat> I definitely feel like this person dreams about you or sits up at night thinking about you. Um, they're almost obsessed. It's almost like an obsession. They want to, they want to have sex with you so badly. It's like an obsession. I feel like maybe you guys, if you, you guys might block this person, like maybe they've tried to have sex with you before and you like, we're like, no bra. I know what you do. I know who you are. Stay away from me. And it attracted them even more because they're almost like obsessed with having sex with you. And it's like, they don't fucking care. This person doesn't care about any, you know, about any, anyone else. I mean, they, they fuck around, but I mean, like their main focus is you and having sex with you. Um, I'm not seeing love here though. As a warning, I am not seeing love here. This person does not love you. Just because they want to have sex with you does not mean that they love you. So if you want to have sex with this person, have mind blowing, amazing sex, go for it. But don't expect them to allow you to sleep over or them to stay, or for you to have any say in their life whatsoever, because they're not going to give it to you. They're not going to give you that power. They don't want anybody to have that power over them. So let's see what their messages are to you. Shine your light. Ooh, what did I say? They liked your energy and fuck it. <laughs> yeah. So this guy's a player. This girl's a player. They're not, I mean, they do want to have sex with you really badly and they will, but that's all about it's going to be. You might even get it a few times, but 
they're not looking for what you're looking for. So I say cut your losses and move the fuck on. Because this is an obsessive, creepy, freaky, whatever fucker. And it, it would not be healthy for you. And I think you know that with the high priestess here. I think you, I think you know this person's toxic the way that they are right now. And so you're avoiding them. Which, good for you. Protect your energy. Protect your light. That's yours, you know? All right. So if that resonated, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me in the description box below. And we'll get you set up. Love and light, guys.